Here we go again. Yeah, I just tried to put on my recording. It's not, it's, oh, I think it just went. If you can see this, welcome to part two. I don't know what, what went not went down, but uh, eh, it seems like we're back. I apologize. Just a little blip about something. So what I was saying is you can get these cheap ones. Or you can get these Lowell Cornell, they're called style sticks. This one happens to be medium. And they're hard, dense, you know, a density foam. And uh, so I could, I could dot some of those. Maybe I could test it on this page. You can do some paint. Because what I was thinking, where is my flower? I'm really trying to incorporate some of these, some of these accents you know, or part of the flower here. But where, I should just do some writing down here. Talking to myself again, talking to myself. Apologize for the, um... Hi, Marianne. Uh, if you just press refresh, now nobody's got anything but audio. Here we, oh, sweet goodness. Here we go again. When I was thinking I needed some magenta, I'm just going to, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to continue. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of magenta dots. Well, you know, what's the worst thing can happen? I won't like it. All right, magenta. I guess I'll try out the, uh, and this is going to be gloopy because I didn't email them and all that stuff. So, not seeing my hands. So does that mean, oh, you definitely don't want to see what's going on in this. Oh boy. Okay, I really do have to email Ranger. Before I could deal with the gloopiness, this is, you're lucky you can't see this. This is disgusting. That's, that's gross. Okay, somebody remind me. I always forget. Ah, oh, sweet love and goodness. I apologize, guys. I really hope that, you know, you'll continue to come back and figure, once we figure out what's wrong with Ustream. Heat gun. So, I'm going to use that magenta pink color that, oh boy, let's, let's just say thank goodness I'm not going to use very much of this. Oh boy, this is disgusting. All right. They're washable too, so you can just put it in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, sweet love and goodness. So, I agree. And I've already, I apologize, forgotten the name of uh, who suggested it. To do some writing. Well, while we're thinking about what color to do some writing, don't you think if I did some black writing would be too much? Hey, gun. Hey, Kim. Welcome to the madness. Well, we'll audition. Do, do, do. Uh, 
So I'm definitely going to have to go outline that anyways, right? And for me, if I wrote it anywhere, it, it does, it is amazing that, that this is, uh, works. Hi, Stacy. Good to see you. Th those are called, um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby years ago. I'm sure you can find them elsewhere. This is a large one. They came in sets. Oops. They're Lowell Cornell, right? L-O-E-W dash C-O-R-N-E-L-L. -L. Style Sticks. S-T-I-X. Style Sticks. So, you know, I've been streaming. I keep saying it the same thing. I've been streaming for a long time, and you stream has, you know, served me well throughout that time. So, I, you know, every little while we get some hiccups, but, you know. So, did anyone say anything about writing? See, if I'm going to write, it would be down here, and then I would write over those thingamidoos. Thingamidoos. Those flowers. But I do have the... Uh, I think some of the paint pens I have are too thick. Too thick. But I do have some of those rollerball pens, or I should have one of those food, food a food pens somewhere. Maybe. These are made, well, they're made by Auto, O-H-T-O, but um, now they're distributed by Ranger. Yep, thank you, Ustream, for being free. Let me tell you, over the years, you know, not very often we get a we get necessarily a troll, but believe me. Anyways, we won't go into that uh, rant again. So, you know, if I draw right in the background, should I just write, well, there's circles. What could I write? Oh, there's so many awesome inspirational flower quotes. I should have been that much more prepared. See, Twitch is a lot to do. Like, Simon, it is very much gamers. Simon on his PlayStation 4, you can al already press record and you go up on Twitch. I don't even know if you have to have an account. Anyway. Keep calm and flower on. <laughs> Somebody give me a good flower. This is bad news, my friends. Hold this. Hold on for a second. <laughs> oh, and all right. I definitely agree. I'm going to do some writing right here. Earth laughs and flowers. Um. Well. Another thing before I write that, you know, like I like to say, there is a time. Let me see, I need an older ink pad than that. Excuse my reach. Flower pot. <laughs> is that a hippie reference, Mickey? <laughs> if you were, I'm telling you, my friends, if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a live chat. And um, it can get pretty funny sometimes. Well, almost all the time. You're missing out. You're missing out. Anyways, everybody has their own preference about where they want to stream and everything. I am happy you're all here watching. Sorry, I'm I'm inking edges up here. Inking edges. Terry, Terry. Grow where you are planted. Oh yeah, that's one of our everyone's favorites. Now was it Mary Engelbright that actually you know, was that started by Mary Engelbright? So we might, uh, oh, I saw a good one. You know what? I should go through my new book. It was a hippie reference. 
So let's, let's, I wish this was, um, oh boy, I don't want to get paint and stuff all over my hands. But let's see if they have one about flowers. Dwell in possibility. That's what I like about some of these as well, right? Like, um, these books. If you hear it, this is Vincent van Gogh. If you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced. So there's two different type, I guess, of art journals. I'm the type that, um, hey Jen, you know, I'll do a page and then think of a quote most times. Some people think of a quote and build their page around it. I guess there's different ways. I'm really trying not to get too much dilutions on this. Keep calm and bloom on. I like that actually. But I like this book. See, we're not even going to be able to read the whole. Uh, If, here's one from George, Georgia O'Keeffe. If you take, and this is like a mandala. <clears throat> if you take a flower in your hand and really look at it, it's your world for a moment. Georgia O'Keeffe. That's what we're going to use. My poor thing. I'm telling you, it's going to lose its stem here shortly. Okay. So when I write in my book... <laughs> Oh, Stacy, you definitely need this book, my friend. Who who's on the let's let's look. who's not on the coloring book bandwagon? <laughs> this is blooming fun. <laughs> okay, so this is the well, actually the way he has it is in six different lines, but I don't plan too much. Um, uh, too much. I might say if you take a flower in your hand and this is how I go really look at it it's your work okay now I know some people they like to that's how much that's how much planning I do all right hold on not watching the chat for a second all right if you Except if except I gotta be careful I don't write slanted the whole way. If you take a flower in your so if you take a flower in your hand and really look at it it's it's your world for a moment and all right Georgia O'Keeffe oh sorry can't can't write and chat at the same time Tight print and glue. <laughs> you can. You you know, you don't have to use your own writing. All right, Georgia O'Keefe. So it's got a little bit of writing, but to me, I'm going to push that into the background. And uh, Linda, I need some itty-bitty backgrounds. Where is my itty-bitty background stamp? Oh, my, oh, my. What a disaster I have under here. So I hope everybody's get, getting and enjoying their happy mail. You know, I'm the type two. Part of the reason why I put it off, I always think, well, that's not good enough. Well, that's not, you know, I'm not sure if everybody else feels the same. Uh-oh, I'm smushing my white over here. All right, let's see my little thing me do.
yeah, I missed. I, I said, who's on the who's not on the coloring book bandwagon? And then I, I didn't look up at the chat. Who's coloring? Oh, welcome, Chris. <laughs> you let me know the year to wipe. <laughs> Shouldn't take that long. Okay, so look, I completely covered the quote with my leaves. So I have two choices. I can remove this leaf, although I kind of like that leaf. But, you know, I don't know if it's more about the quote anyways. Um, it's somebody. Uh, yeah, I'll be on a wagon train. I love to. I'm so enjoying coloring. Let me just say. Okay. So, as I said, it's going to go off the page, you know. Um, sorry, not, I was thinking it's going off the page, but we're going to, we're going to be covering up some of that quote. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's more there for the visual, uh, text, the visual anyways. If I took the leaf off, yeah, I think so too. It would just look weird, but I think it needs some splots. It's that magical time of night where we need a few splots. Um, everybody's going to absolutely hate me, but I need to do black spots. <laughs> I, I need to do some very faint black spots because you know what, guys, you got to do, I've said this more than once, not necessarily what's train trendy, but you got to do what you like to do. I like spots. Some people don't like spots. so don't put spots. I like spots. So sometimes I put spots on everything. But, you know, I art journal because I like to look at it later. Or I like to, uh, I don't art journal just for show, if that makes sense. That's why I show you guys the good, bad, and ugly. And sometimes it can get pretty ugly. I have the stem coming from the left side. Well, I mean, I guess you could. I guess I'm the type that likes, for some reason, I guess I, I liked it certain. If I'm putting anything on my page, especially ones these way, this way, I just love the bottom. Oh no, not the face, not a face again. But I'm going to only do fine splots. Fine splots. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yeah, when the spots beckon. That's right. You got to answer the call, Pauline. <laughs> spots beckon. You don't have to put spots. Some of, some of my most wonderful friends don't like spots. That's cool. That's cool. But I think you got to do what you love. So therefore, I'm putting spots. All right, tiny bit of black paint. Some water. Sorry, I was looking at chat for a second. And of course, I'm going to use the handy dandy brush. The oh so fancy brush. I know you can get the same one from Liquitex. Oh, and surprisingly, also Tim Holtz. But um, my friend Jane got me this. It's just part of a broom. From a dollar store, cut off the broom. And uh, I'm starting, you know, this broom has some, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess, I guess so that you can sweep, like it collects the dust more, but they're, they're ragged. Maybe I'll cut off some of the ragged spots, see what happens. Jane, look out, I'm butchering the quarter of a cent. Oh, this is harder to cut than I thought. All right, I cut off some of those pieces. Let's see how well it goes. I'm just going to use it to mix. 
if you use a brush, I find if you use a brush, you get thicker spots or bigger spots. When you use this type of tool, you get some uh, fibers. Oh, yeah, fibers. <laughs> I like fibers. You want me to put fibers on this page? All right, so I'm going to hold it real high. I cut exactly, Stacy. I cut off the split ends. A few splats. See, that's not bad, right, Jean? Look. <laughs> no, it's not crusty bits, Jane. It's just it's a little feathered. You know, it's it's to pick up dust better. Not that I'd know. We use a Swiffer. All right, just a few splats. Do you see that? All right, that looks good. I just got a haircut, so my uh, my split ends are at a minimum right now. I hope. I hope. So I need. Sorry, I just need. Ooh, I should do some on the other side of that page. Yeah, it's it is about ready to toss us, but you can still. I mean, there's no reason why you can't. So you can get more aggressive with your splots if you want to, or you can be gentle, gentle splottage. All right, so I got still all that left, and I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to get out my other leftover journal right here without causing an avalanche. Craft a lanch over here. This was the page I was... See, it has some purple splots. That must have been from Wednesday. We'll be all splotted up on that page. Splotted out. Let's see. I don't know what got going on there. But what I'm doing is just fanning it. See? Fanning it. You're not on the splot bad wagon. Not yet, Jean. We'll break you down eventually. Just saying. When I use my leftover journal like that, I don't think too much. I just kind of put it on there. Um, did I have anything in this? It's just so much fun to do some splots. What did I do over here? I attempted to watercolor a mug. It needs some splots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting out of hand now. I like that. Okay, back to the page. I think the last thing we have to do now is dry it and glue on. It is an awesome splatter, Pauline. And like I said, it's just part of a broom. If you bought one broom, you'd have splat you'd have splatters for a lifetime. Were you there, Pauline, when Blade when Blade just cut it off the broom? <laughs> of his rented his rented apartment. That was funny. I must admit. All right, so we have some fainted splottage. Heat gun. Yeah, she's splotless. You know, she is going to put some coffee splots on her page one day. Oh, it does. That looks nice over here. Bye. So before I put any glue on this bad boy, I just want to make sure it's dry. Oh, it was good times. <laughs> Kills me. If you don't watch Blade the Artistic Bike, you have to. It makes me laugh. All right. So I got my little guy here. 
And, you know, I still got to outline them, so. Or her, whichever you want to call it. All right. Make it like that. Well, what am I going to do now? These are some finicky, finicky bad boys. Each one of these, lots of coloring book pages has um, quotes in the background. All right, so I want, I'm trying to look for some glueage. Oh my God. What do I have? Well, I guess I'll have to just use a little bit of matte medium and hope for the best. Sorry, I might be side to camera. That might have been loud. Let's see. I'm going to use one of these cheap brushes I got at Dollarama that I think are just straw. So we might get we might get more fur ephemera on this bad boy than glue. We shall see. So I got big crusty bit, not the type of crusty bits we like on the matte medium. Well that's that's you definitely don't need that much matte medium. All right, let's let's see how this works. Well, this brush is scratchy, that's for sure. Scratchy. I'm not sure I recommend this brush for this project. But I guess you can see where it's going on. I gotta be quick. Look, this might be a time where I should just cut it in half and let it go. N not let it go, meaning, you know, it's gonna be so finicky to try to put it down all these little pieces at once. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up having glue everywhere, but where it needs to be. That's right, Linda. I don't mind inexpensive brushes as long as they don't, you know, start shedding. That's that's when they become a problem. All right. Let's see. This might rip on purpose on by rip by accident anyways. This could be bad news. All right, I like it up here. Everybody hold their breath. It's a tricky bad boy. Oh, uh oh. I even got it crooked. Oh, well. Now, let's see if I can. Try to stick it down. Again, you got to be careful. I have to be careful of the dilutions will be, you know, might be reactivated. So. As long as I get it to stick down, you know, and don't cause too much of a mess. This is the absolute worst brush for gluing. Just saying. The whatever natural hairs these are. Bad news. And I'm going right over the colored pencil. I, I don't know what's good or not good, so. See, and lots of spots are, are still coming up. It's the scratchy bristle, I tell you. That's what I'm blaming it on. So.
like I said, this may have been another one of those how not to nights. But at the same time, you know, I don't practice these pages beforehand. You know, I'm, I'm the type of artist that shows you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not a page that I've done more than once. Not saying that that's bad, but, you know, I'm type... So you are going to see a few mistakes. <laughs> you know. Darcy, did you submit a deposit? All right. Not calling you out or anything. <laughs> Okay, so that looks half decent. What do you guys think? Now I just, I'm just going to wipe up this. I definitely have to outline it. You know, usually in this situation, if I've been art journaling for a long time, and I've always used a black, I love me some big pens. So normally I would just outline that with a big pen. Um... I'm thinking that the feud ball pen, because the feud ball is 1.5, 1, 1. 1.5, and that's huge. Whereas, you know, regular Bix or what? I forget. But then you've got the big ones that are 1.0. Regardless, I have to dry this anyways. But once, once I pop that out, I have the worst luck, my friends, with white pens. I mean, I've got some white ch uh, charcoal or white chalk. He done. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, for sure. No, I agree. They're not mistakes. They're, you know, either I call them flop opportunities or you got to just work through the ugly sometimes. So you get what you want. Some parts are sticky, sticky pants. But you know, like I did take a while to shade this bad boy, so you know it does. It does feel good to put in a place of honor. All uh, right. So what can I use? I wish I just had. I could find a black. I guess we won't use Vic. Don't worry, my friends. I have. A uh, few black. You don't have to freak out. Let's see. I have a Uniball Vision Elite. Let's see. May or may not work. And I mean, when I say I outline it, I I don't get too upset if it goes over. You know the image that I'm outlining. Sometimes I make it look, you know, I like to say, make it look messy on purpose. So then when you mess up, or what I'll inevitably mess up, then, uh, like I said, it looks like you did it on purpose. But it is much easier when you have something like this that's been cut out of paper that you can really, uh, you know, butt your pen nib up to the edge of your cutout and it's much easier to to trace. So I don't know if you can tell already from one side to the other side how much it pops. And I'm not sure, like, you know, you got to test, you got to test stuff out. Because this is put down with matte medium and then matte medium on top, this Vision Elite pen is going over it pretty easily. But I don't know if it'll normally go over, say, craft paint. Remember, we don't have much paint under this either. It was just all mostly sprays. Sorry if my fingers, my hand is just ridiculous. I'm going to have to go take some sugar. Some sugar to scrub it off. 
or just was it Queen Pam that said it? I say that too. If I want to get anything off my fingers, I just take a shower. It seems like when I wash my wash my hair. <laughs> oh, Emma. Oh my goodness. Like Debbie. Did I say sticky pants? No. I must have said sticky parts. I don't think I would have said that. I might have said this is sticky business. You guys are putting words in my mouth now. I already say some crazy enough stuff as it is. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Ed. Somebody's going to go back through the video and and I'm sure tell me that what exactly I said. It's, a, it's also a point, it is also important to outline some of these too because if you remember how, you know, I had a challenging time cutting some of these, uh, you know, cutting, fussy cutting this out precisely. I had, I had left some white spots somewhere in the middle. So the black will help with that. So I'm happy about this. I got one page pretty much done. I've got another page underneath this or on the other side of this page that has a really good start. And it's, you know, even though it had the similar beginnings, it's definitely going to have a much different end. <clears throat> Already investigated. I gotta put it on private. I'm gonna put my video on private just so you guys. That way. <laughs> Did Anita go to bed? Poor Anita. <laughs> Poor Anita telling me that I she has to. She has to put some gloves on when she uses dilutions because it affects her skin. And there I go spray my whole hand with it. She's probably traumatized. It is like in my head. I'm thinking, oh, it's itchy. But I, th like I said, I think that's just in my head. All right. I think I think it's done. So, like I said, you can't really re read the quote. That's okay. I, uh... I forget the, the viewer's name. A friend's name that suggested it. Oops, not even on camera. Oh, is the light going funny? Night Caliente, thanks for coming. So we've got a good start on this page. We got a half decent start over here. I actually think that that with the illusions cut grass paint actually looks pretty good with it. And see, now you can't tell that they're coffee cups. Doesn't always have to be coffee cups. Um, yeah, and over here's got something promising too. Maybe if I ink the edges. So it's a little bit outside of what I've been doing lately, I suppose. But I really like it. I must say. So I thank everybody for their help. Or in some cases, hindrance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Yeah, but like I said, it, you know, I could have just put this in my coloring book binder or whatnot, but when you spend a long time on some of these, it's sure nice to put in. And you don't have to do some, maybe this could have been a magazine-ish uh, cutout or whatever you got going on. You know, it doesn't have to be a coloring book page. Or coloring book, this wasn't even the whole page, this was just an image. 
So I hope you learned something. I hope you learned what not to do. <laughs> what not to do. And hopefully you're a little bit inspired. Um, yeah, I'm going to add some green over here. But I appreciate every, be, everybody being here. I'm, I'll be back on Wednesday. I think I got it worked out. Let's hope that everything is going to, you know, everything's going to work properly on Wednesday. I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate everybody that stuck, stuck it out with me on Wednesday. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll see you on the interwebs or Wednesday. Much love, my friends.